Welcome back. I'm Sammy Chimona Hihi Aliubi from the Eagle One Development Team. This is Crash Course number 29. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking advantage of learning the process of building a house uh, from the outside in. We did an inside out building process. A lot of people have wondered how we do the opposite. And in the meantime, we're going to be able to show you how we take advantage of that work plane shift that we did last time, as well as how to be able to adjust for some of the nuances as we do this. Hey, first thing I want to do is I want to go in and uh, if I'm going to build from the outside and I want to prepare to make sure that I have everything that I want uh, on one of the walls, this wall right here, we have this archway. Uh, let's go ahead and let's add a little bit of a window. And so to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to grab these two. I'm going to press Alt N and Control H. Let's separate it from the rest of it. And uh, to make this easy, I'm actually going to select these two press backspace to dissolve them and then uh, let's just come down here and let's slice it really quick two by two slice okay and uh, before we continue any further I'm gonna unhide everything press shift Q and I want to make sure I'm on the correct work plane so right now uh, I'm on the world plane I'm gonna click next to this wall let's orient ourselves to this wall perfect and then let's go ahead and come back here so make it a lot easier for us as we go through our cuts okay now these numbers are a little bit off okay and, and the reason why is because once again uh, when we created this this was on a different work plane so the numbers aren't going to be nice and even so if we wanted to make them nice and even what we can do is we can move these around and it's going to snap it to the grid okay so I'll snap it to the grid and okay, now what I have here 48 by 48 by 48 is uh, exactly what I was looking for and we can adjust that anytime that we're switching work plane so keep that in mind okay I'm going to go ahead and press alt n and control H we're gonna separate this uh, we're gonna use this as a frame okay it's like we did last time select the outer frame let's go to a grid size of 2 press N and we're gonna create the first edge four, two, and then let's just go ahead and on the outside the same exact thing that we did uh, except in this circumstance uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're only gonna go to two here and then here we're gonna go to two and then one two three four okay and uh actually this will be a total of eight as the outside is a total of four uh, i'm going to delete this inside frame uh, let's unhide it and let's go ahead and pull it out and then uh, let's double click the edges and press j smooth them okay and now we have our window we have our door uh, let's uh, create the interior okay, and that, the way we're going to do that is we're going to select all of these different meshes okay these different meshes you know the, you can see they're separated that's fine they're separated no big deal select them all uh, let's press shift F and we're going to go ahead and mirror it and uh, we want to make sure we mirror it on the inside and let's close that seam now you'll notice if we do this correctly that we're going to have exactly a width of eight okay if we open up this view and switch off our grid uh, we can see that this has a 16 as our uh, distance between these two and that's fine we made this an extra thick gap but uh, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to create the walls on the interior and exterior uh, to match a little bit okay because right now uh, the units are a little bit off grid uh, only because when we built this wall reminder it was uh, something that wasn't exactly in the same plane so let's just go ahead let's make sure that we have everything here uh, let's uh, first of all uh, take the interior of this and what I'm going to do for the interior is uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, quickly uh, Let's lower the grid and just make sure it snaps in place. Let's go eight units in. Okay, and same with this side. I'm going to change it and make sure that we also go eight units in. Okay, so we're eight units in on each side. And I'm going to go ahead and pull it so it snaps and it joins that nearest grid. Okay, so let's uh, make sure here. Let's pull it on the inside. All right, and then I'm going to grab these walls. And then we're just going to extrude it. I can change the grid size uh, to whatever size you want as long as it's around 8 or 16. Let's pull this out. About 252 units is fine. Doesn't have to be exact. And then let's go ahead and pull this across. Okay. And uh, as long as we have this on the grid, perfect. It's going to match up. And uh, for this portion, we can see I've kind of misaligned it. That's fine. I can just simply put it back. I'm going to grab both of these floors, <clears throat> press B to bridge, and uh, now I'm almost done creating the interior from the exterior, 
Okay, uh, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to give myself a roof. So select both edges, press B, look on the inside. Now I've got a roof. Uh, temporarily, I'm just going to go ahead and realign this. And uh, I, I'm almost finished. I just got to make sure I close the top off. Okay. Now for the top, this one's going to be a little bit different. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I need to wrap this around. All right. I'm going to start by uh, taking this ceiling. Okay? And it's, uh, you can see it's at the same height as our interior. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pull it up by eight units. Okay? Now I can uh, go ahead and pull it across and uh, be pretty much done the majority of this. Okay? And uh, if we wanted to keep this flat, we could, uh, but I don't want to keep it flat. We're, we're going to go an extra step above, but for right now, let's just go ahead and close it off around. Here we go. Now what we have here are walls with at least a thickness of eight. <clears throat> Being enclosed, and here we have the exterior, and uh, down here we have the interior. All right, uh, so uh, we, we've created a simple building so far, uh, but I want to go ahead and make a roof. Okay, so to, to make the roof, and we'll just go ahead for right now, we'll keep this inside uh, as a flat ceiling. Uh, but if we want to add some depth on the outside, let's go ahead and do the following. Press Alt-N and Control-H and then Backspace. So all we're doing is just simply isolating it, pulling it, and uh, now I'm going to cut it in half right down the middle. Select both edges, press uh, V. Ooh, actually, let's go this way. Uh, unhide that and now what you've seen me do is take this and uh, selecting the faces let's extrude it up one okay that's going to help us uh, with our thickness uh, we already have inside we've got a 16 uh, but we're also doing this uh, for the following i want to be able to actually pull this up and in doing so i want to try my best uh, to keep this in line staying as close to quads as possible. And you can see here now we've got some quads built on all sides and we have a simple roof. Okay? Uh, if I really want to add to the trim, I can go ahead and select both these faces, hold down shift, press up, so it goes up another eight units. And this is just going to help us with our trim. Okay, uh, Over here under materials, I have a roof material that I'm going to use called roof shingles. Okay, Go ahead and select that. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and simply apply it to the top. Right. And uh, if you want to go ahead and uh, find some uh, trim uh, for the sides, you can just type in trim. Okay, there's uh, plenty of different options for trim. Uh, right now, uh, out of all of these, okay, we can go ahead and uh, let's, uh, let's do the following one uh, for right now. We're just going to go concrete trim just for right now. Okay, press Alt-8, uh, Alt-T, Alt-T. You can see it's just helping to find around it. Okay, now if you want to find a better material, I'm sure you can find a much better material than this. Uh, but now we have a house. Uh, the beginning of a house on the outside, we can look inside. We've got a doorway on the inside. Oh, here we can actually see a little bit of a break. That's fine, no big deal. Just double click these two. Press B. It's going to bridge them. Hey, no big problem. Everything is solvable because uh, we have good mesh work. And all we have to do is be able to go through and fix anything that we find. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we've uh, not only built a house, but we've also built it on a different work plane. This really helps as a player. When I'm looking around, you know, I'm not noticing 90 degree angles here. I'm really noticing some different angles here. I've got one angle here. I've got another angle joining, which makes this seem much more organic. I will right, we'll see you guys on our next crash course tutorial. Hope you guys have a good day.